Greetings. Thank you for the opportunity to come your way today and spend this time with you. This week, we've been talking about the nine marks of a minister of God. and We've been looking at what Paul wrote in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 10 and 11, as he mentions nine areas of his life and his ministry, and he points them out to Timothy and says, Timothy, you have followed and carefully observed me in all of these areas. And obviously he's telling Timothy, Timothy, these are the marks of a man of God, of somebody anointed by God. I may be examining or just looking at each one. And today we will look at what Paul mentioned uh, uh, as long suffering or put a use a more modern term, patience. He says, Timothy, you've seen my patience. And obviously this patience had to do with his dealing with, with people. Because being patient and how you're handling situations, circumstances, that you deal with people with great patience. Paul himself wrote yeah, in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 24, he said, And a servant of the Lord must not quarrel, but be gentle to all, able to teach, patient. So in dealing with people, he said, got to be patient. People are not going to always respond as quickly as you would like them to, as the way you would like them to, but you be patient. People. So he says, this is a mark of a minister of God. He says, Timothy, you've seen my long suffering, my patience in various situations and circumstances as, a, as he worked with people. So how are we when we deal with people? You know, when the Bible tells us, 1 Corinthians 13, love is patience. So really, patience is an expression or a demonstration of love for people. And when we are patient with people, we're actually demonstrating love towards them. That we really love them, care for them, and, and are, are willing to work with them. So patience, it's an expression of love. And it's a mark of a minister of God. If you're patient, you're not going to get irritable. You're not going to lose it easily with people. You're going to be kind, you're going to be gentle, tolerant as you deal with people. And that's what a minister of God must demonstrate. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you'll help us grow in this grace of being patient as we work with people, as this will truly be a mark of our lives as ministers of God and how we work with people, with all long suffering and patience. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.